Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate testing, document creation and code coverage for a Julia package using Travis and Coveralls. Let's open our Julia package in Visual Studio Code. Now, I have already opened it here. It's called demo. Uh, this package I have already Initialize it as a GitHub repository, as you can see. Let's open our browser. I'm using Firefox and let's go to GitHub. Okay, let's find our repository. And it's required that you have set up the repository as a GitHub repository, otherwise, Travis and Coveralls cannot find it. Now, Let's go to Travis and let's go to the settings and now from this search field I can type in demo and it will find our demo.jl package. I can activate the package here. It should be now active. Uh, next let's go to coveralls. and add repos let's search for demo okay and now coveralls is active as well next i will go back to the repository now we will need to add uh, the travis configuration file travis.yaml now i will paste the configurations that I had open in another uh, window. Let's check git. Okay, let's add this file and let's commit it. And now we will need to push this file okay now the file is in github let's go to our github repository we can see the travis configuration file here let's check travis Now it's automatically triggered to Travis build. It should run the tests. Let's see. Now it's installing the package dependencies and Julia. Now our Travis build has finished. Let's see the results. Down here, we can see that it installed Julia. It exported our package and let's go here it ha it ran our run test file on the on our julia package so we can navigate to our julia package and let's open the test let's see first the demo so i have here this simple greet function and the test uh, it runs the greet function and just checks that it's nothing as we can see, our Travis has performed this test. So it prints the hello and the demo has passed. Next, let's navigate to coveralls and see how the code coverage performed. Let's open the demo.jl, check the details. Here we see the source, which corresponds to the source in our Julia package. Let's open the demo.jl and we can see that the tests executed the greet function and that's why it's saying it's 100% coverage. Next we want Travis to automatically generate and deploy the documentation to our GitHub repositories, GitHub pages. Let's navigate to the Julia package open the documentation, the make.jl file, let's uncomment 
the deploy docs function. Now we will need to replace this with the repository URL. Let's navigate to the repository. Let's copy the URL without the HTTPS. Add it here and we also need to add dot git at the end of this string. Let's close it. Now let's navigate to the travis.yaml configuration file. We need to add the job for Travis which generates the documentation. Okay, here it will use Julia 1.5 to generate the documentation and this is the code that it will run on Travis. Let's close this. Next we will need to generate the SSH keys and set them up such that Travis can push the documentation to the GitHub pages. Let's open the Julia REPL. Let's open the package manager and add the package as a development package. Now let's go back to the Julia REPL and open documenter tools. With documenter tools, let's use the gen keys function. This will generate the SSH keys for both Travis and GitHub. Now let's copy first the Travis SSH key, then let's navigate to Travis. Let's go up and find the settings. Actually, let's take the repository settings. Now here we have the environment variables section. Let's add a value, which is the SSH key and name documenter key. And let's add it. Next, let's navigate back to the repository. Now let's copy the SSH key for GitHub and let's go to the GitHub repository. Let's go to the repository settings. Here we have the deploy keys section. Add deploy key. Let's add the key title uh, Travis. Allow write access, add key. Now I have confirmed the deploy key. Next, let's head back to our repository. Let's go to the bash and let's add the changes to Git. Let's commit the files. Mm, Travis config. Let's push these changes. Let's head back to Travis to see the build logs. Okay, here our build has finished. Let's see the build log. It looks otherwise the same except down here we will have the documentation job that we just added and we see that it has successfully created the documentation. Let's go to the, our GitHub repository and we see that Travis has generated the GitHub pages. Let's head to the settings to see the generated GitHub pages. Here we have the URL for the GitHub pages. Let's click it. Um, however, we cannot see the documentation because it's, it is generated under a dev folder. Let's add the dev and now we can see the documentation. Here we see that our version is dev. That is why we need the dev here. One final thing we can do is to create a readme file for our repository 
and add the badges for Travis and coveralls. Let's create the readme.md file header demo. Le let's navigate to Travis. Let's click this icon and choose the markdown version of the batch. Let's copy the batch, head back to our repository and paste it. Then we can head to coveralls and we have a batch here. Let's select the markdown batch, copy it and paste that. We can check the preview. It seems that the batches are working correctly. Let's add them to Git. And let's push. And now the batches are pushed into the GitHub repository. Let's go to the repository. And the batches are now here. We can also add the URL to the GitHub pages here in the about section. Let's get the URL. Let's copy it, head back, click this, and here we have the website field. Let's add dev, save changes, and now the URL for the documentation is here. We can test it and it works. Thanks for watching this guide. I hope it was helpful. I will see you next time. Bye.